So we'll be discussing today about uh, congenital proximal radio ulnar synostosis. This is a condition where the child has fixed radius and ulna at the proximal area and the forearm is fixed in a pronated position so that the child is not able to do the supination activity. Now this disease could be unilateral where the one affected or the one limb is affected or it could be bilateral where both the upper limbs are affected. It usually happens because of the failure of differentiation of the two bones in intrauterine life. And when the child is born or when the baby is born, uh, the baby is not able to do the supination activities. Now supination activities are usually required for most of the day to day activities of life, right? For like eating, like washing the face and most of the activities they require a supination. These activities are not possible in this particular condition. In the past, if you go into the literature, uh, the previous surgeons, they tried to separate the fusion site really because invariably it, it unites over a period of time. Secondly, the area where there is a fusion, all the neurovascular bundles, they go very close to that area. So when surgeons tried to separate those area, a um, lot of complications happened. And that is why the separation surgery went into disrepute. the surgery which we invented is called as rotational osteotomy of the radius and ulna. So what we do, we cut the ulna one centimeter distal to the fusion site and then radius at the distal metaphyseal diaphyseal junction and when we after cutting this we bring the forearm into functional position like 30 to 40 degree of supination and we just apply a plaster. So that once the bones unite in that position, from the compensation from the shoulder, child is able to do the supination as well as pronation both. The anesthesia technique which we use for this surgery is a kind of regional anesthesia block in which we inject local anesthetic drugs around the nerves of upper limbs so that the whole upper limb gets anesthetized. The child is sedated during the procedure and the effect of this block it lasts longer so that the child is absolutely pain free even after the operation. This technique is time tested and quite safe in children and also avoids the use of general anesthesia. As a physiotherapist we enable him to overcome his functional limitations. Um, our main uh, concern is the activities which he cannot do prior to the operation. Uh, we design um, an exercise program that is suitable to the child. Uh, we also prescribe a home program which the child can carry out at home with his family. And usually it is suggested that the child carries out the exercises for a long time on a regular basis till he is able to achieve what, she could, what he could not do. Uh, it's, so it is more of a functional surgery. We are not able to separate a fusion site, but it gives a function absolutely fantastic like a normal other child or the other normal human being. This surgery is actually very safe and it, 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 if the child is small, if it is performed at early age group, it doesn't require any kind of fixation, no implants are required, simply a plaster which is required after surgery. And uh, the scars also are very, very minimal, hardly a 1.5 to 2 centimeter or 1 centimeter scar is there. I would like to know that uh, how do you uh, 
you know, feel now because uh, this surgery is first of its kind and what was your experience? I'm really quite impressed with the simplicity of this surgery and especially with the function that the children have afterwards. Today we've um, we've seen several children who've had this operation yeah. a few years ago and we we're just uh, really, uh, it's really, it's really amazing how, what they can do now. Whereas what I recommend that all parents and those who know this kind of children who have a hand problem, a hand problem, or who have a problem with their hands, who are dead, who are dead, so they have to do the same thing with Dr. Viraj. Dr. Viraj is the best. I will say simply is the best. I appeal to the parents uh, or the caretakers of the child, please identify this condition. It is very simple. When the child is having the restriction of supination like this, if the child is not able to do, that means that there is something wrong and 110% most of the times the condition which is there is a congenital proximal radial nerve stenosis.